In Excel 2010, there may be times when you want to link a cell or multiple cells across worksheets of a workbook. A link means if the original or source data changes, then the linked or target data will change as well. We're going to create our links two different ways. The first way will be using the Copy and Paste Special options, and we'll also talk about the Write Drag method. So I have a workbook that has Burlington sales. And if you look at the very bottom, I do have two other sheets. So I'll begin with a summary one sheet. On there, I'd like to have a link to the Burlington sales totals so that if they change on the Burlington sheet, they'll change on the summary one sheet as well. Now I might want to tile the two sheets so that I can see both sheets at the same time. This makes it a little bit easier when you're doing your copy and paste across worksheets. So to see two of the sheets side by side, you would go up to the View tab and click on New Window to create a window for the other sheet. Once you've done that, you would click on the Arrange All, make sure Tiled is selected, and also make sure there's a check for Windows of Active Workbook. And then click on OK. And you'll see two windows side by side. At this point, both windows show the Burlington sales data. On the right-hand side, I'm going to go down and click on the Summary 1 sheet. Now I'm ready to create my copy and paste link. So over in the Burlington sales sheet, I'm going to select just the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter totals. Each of those totals is summing together the cells above them. Once I've got it selected, I'm going to go and copy. And I copy by right-clicking in my selection and copy. But you could also do Control-C on your keyboard. Now I'm going to go over to the right-hand side to the Sales Summary Sheet, and I'm going to click into B4. I could do Control-V on the keyboard right now, or I can right-click into the cell, and I'll be able to see different paste options. So I could just paste the calculations, and I'll get reference errors if I do that. I could paste the values, again with the formulas if I wanted to. I could transpose, just copy formatting, or the last option is to link, and I'm going to choose that one. I can at this point go up to my Home tab, and I could turn on the accounting number format and reduce the decimal places, so I could format these cells any way I wish. Now if I change any of the numbers on my Burlington sales sheet, and I'll just change the hard goods sales for the first quarter, when I hit Enter, the total here will change, but also if you look at your sales summary sheet, that will change as well. Another way to create this link, and I'll go down to the Summary 2 sheet, is to select the cells that you'd like to copy and link. And if you go to the border of your selection and hold down your right mouse button, you can drag it over to the other sheet, assuming it is tiled side by side. And when you let go, it will give you options to move the cells, copy them, copy just the values or just the formats, or linking. So link here is the one that I want to choose. So I'm going to left click on the link here option. And then I'll have those totals. And again, on the Home tab, I can format these cells any way I wish. And let me just change the number back to a different number. When I hit Enter, it will change the total here, and it will change the total on the Summary 2 sheet as well. So just two different ways to create a link between worksheets. Both of these methods can also be used to copy and link across workbooks. And that's how you can create links in Excel 2010.